Today's video is sponsored by AG1. More on them coming up. I love thinking of little garden projects like this. I'm outside on my patio today planting a little centerpiece for my outside table because here in the south we're starting to already see days that are in the 80s which is incredible. This is just such a lovely time of year and I want to be outside as much as possible. I'm planting a little bit of basil in one of my planters that I got from my local garden center. I love planting things like basil around that helps to repel things like mosquitoes and flies and is beautiful and fragrant and you can cook with it. Now I'm going to head inside and cook up some delicious food to have for family dinner tonight. Before I start cooking today, I want to take a minute and tell you about today's video sponsor, AG1. I actually just got back from a trip and I love that they make individual serving size packets. So that way when I'm on a trip, especially over the summer when we travel a lot, I can throw this in my bag and shake it up on the go just in water bottle. I'm still getting all those nutrients that I need to keep me feeling good year round. It's amazing to have things like this in your bag ready to go to keep you feeling your best and to keep up your gut health because it has a probiotic in it. At home, I keep my canister in the fridge because it's an open container. So to keep those probiotics fresh and still live and active, you want to refrigerate it. But when you're on the go, they make these individual packets. That way all the probiotics in it stay fresh. And I also take their D3 drops. And I feel like everyone should be taking D3 and K2 together. It's a wonderful combination. I love that these are just a liquid. Just one drop gives you your full daily doses that you need. They've thought through everything and they use the highest quality ingredients they can find, which I really appreciate. I love that. As a holistic nutritionist, I love that it has vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, and the fact that it's drinkable just makes it that much more convenient. If you guys want to try AG1 too, you can either scan the QR code here on screen or check the link down below so you can try out AG1 too. My link will get you a free one year supply of AG1 vitamins D3 and K2, plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you so much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. I think as soon as the weather starts to warm up, we're all outside. Our lives get a little bit busier as the seasons change. And I find that dinner is something that can easily become an afterthought and it's all too tempting to run through the drive-through. So I'm getting started on that first today. I'm gonna be making a slow cooker meal, which I know during hot days, I love slow cooker meals because I'm not heating up my kitchen as much. That is the same reason I use my little oven that's a smart oven on the counter all the time is because it doesn't heat up my kitchen as much. So using these tools is just so quick and easy. It's hands off and keeps my house cool. So today I'm starting with a slow cooker lentil and sweet potato soup. There are so many reasons to love this soup. It's incredibly inexpensive. It's filling. I love how much protein lentils have and it's all around just an incredible tasting soup. This is actually my favorite lentil soup I have ever made. And I feel like it's the most basic, which is so counterintuitive, but it is amazing. I'm starting by cubing up a sweet potato and a couple gold potatoes. I have one sweet Vidalia onion and then a few stalks of celery. And the easy part about this is I just put it all in the soup pot or in the slow cooker pot and I don't saute anything beforehand, but I promise you the flavor is there and you're not going to wish you had sauteed it at all. So throw everything into your slow cooker or you could do this in the instant pot and just slow cook it. And then I crush in a bunch of fresh garlic, usually three or four cloves or more depending on how big or small they are and that is the base of our soup it's so simple so wholesome and really really healthy and just whole food based but i promise you that this soup is just really going to deliver on the flavor next i'm going to add in green lentils i'm using about a cup today and then normally in lentil soup, you'll see herbs like herbs de Provence or rosemary and those kind of more floral herbs, but I'm actually using some poultry seasonings. And I think it does a really good job of adding a lot of flavor to the soup without making it overly floral. It just gives nice depth. Then I'm adding in a whole bunch of vegetable broth. You could use bone broth or chicken broth. And then my little trick here is I always have little leftover bits of Parmesan rind that I keep in my freezer. So I'm just gonna take a couple of those and pop them in the soup and that's gonna add even more flavor. 
I've heard different things, but some people say not to salt your lentils before you cook them and to salt them afterwards. But I'll tell you, I always salt mine first and I don't see an issue with it. I don't know. Let me know if you have issues with that. But I go ahead and salt it and then I cover it and cook it on low or high for as long as I can. I feel like the softer the lentils get, the better. And then I'll add one final ingredient at the end. Next, I'm going to get started on a delicious summery spring inspired dessert that's just a little bit lighter because it uses a mix of all-purpose flour and almond flour. The first thing I'll do to make this strawberry rhubarb almond cake is prep my cake pan. So I'm using a nine inch cake pan and I just like to spray it and then I'll place a piece of unbleached parchment paper in the bottom and spray it once more just with a little bit of avocado oil spray just to ensure I can turn it out and put it on my cake stand. And then I also got out my stand mixer, but I've made this cake again the other day for my mom cause she was coming over and I did it with a hand mixer. And honestly, I think it's just as great if not better using a hand mixer that's honestly one of my favorite kitchen tools are little hand beaters so now I'm just taking some fresh rhubarb that I got at the farmer's market I was so excited way down at the end I saw it and I asked them I was like do you have more and they had a whole bunch that they brought out for me fresh from the fridge and it is so beautiful and in season right now so if you can get your hands on some definitely get some and make this cake Sometimes you can find it frozen too. So I'm just slicing up some strawberries from the farmer's market to go with it. That's optional, but I love throwing in a little bit of strawberries too. So I just slice that all up. And now in the bowl of my stand mixer, I'm adding in one stick of salted butter. I always use salted butter even in baking. And then I'm gonna add some raw cane sugar. You could use normal sugar and I'm only using about three fourths of a cup and that will be good. It will be sweet enough. It's not overly sweet, but you can sweeten it up by dusting a little bit of organic powdered sugar at the end if you want, or just leave it plain. So I'm gonna add that in with the butter and let that beat until it's nice and fluffy. I know that as a nutritionist, it could be kind of controversial to cook with things like raw sugar and sour cream, but I like to focus more on quality of ingredients and using a lot of different ingredients too. So sometimes I'll use Greek yogurt, sometimes I'll use sour cream or creme fraiche, and sugars I'm always switching around using raw sugar or coconut sugar, and I find that sticking to a really rigid diet does not work for me or my family, and it can take a lot of joy out of life. So I prefer to just look at it in a holistic way. Is this healthy for my body? Is it something that can be eaten in a balanced diet? And most importantly, does it bring joy to my family? And I do that. Since I'm going to gradually add in my dry ingredients into my wet, I'm gonna go ahead and combine those in a separate bowl. So I'm adding in all-purpose flour, almond flour, and then baking powder and baking soda and a little pinch of Celtic sea salt. I'll just whisk it all together and then I'll go back to my stand mixer and turn it on a low speed. So on the KitchenAid, I think it's about two. It's just kind of stirring it together nice and gently. And I'm just going to gradually add in those dry ingredients while it mixes.
After I assemble all the fruit on the cake, then I top it with a little bit of sliced almonds and I love the crunch this adds along with like the little sugar crystals. So I just take about a tablespoon of that same raw sugar and sprinkle it over the top and it kind of helps the fruit to jam up and it makes the nuts taste really sweet and crunchy, almost like a candied almond. And then I'll put it in the oven and it's gonna bake for a good long while. And after I cool it, I'm gonna turn it out onto my cake pan or cake stand and top it with just a little bit of organic powdered sugar and it's ready to go. I think this is one of the best cakes I've ever had and I'm going to be making it a lot this summer so you might be seeing it again. But now I'm gonna get started on a salad and finish off the soup to kind of balance out this delicious cake to have with dinner tonight. So once I let my soup cook all day, I take about a third of it out and I like to puree that with some sort of fat like olive oil or butter just to help emulsify the soup and it makes it the most delicious creamy texture. Then I add that back in and finish it with a little bit of sherry wine and salt and pepper. And that is the key. Finishing soups with sherry wine is one of my favorite things to do. My whole family loves when I make these kinds of dump everything in salads. So I'm making one that's just gonna be eaten family style tonight. And on the bottom, I have a bed of lettuce and then I did a hot house cucumber, some tomatoes, some broccoli sprouts, banana peppers, some garlic stuffed olives that I just sliced up. And then I topped it with some of that mild kimchi and my favorite green goddess dressing. Let me know if you try out today's recipes. I know you're gonna love them, they're so good. Don't forget to check out the description box where you can use my link to get your free AG1. And thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video.